Hawthorne has a mighty history when it comes to sharpshooters. Full forwards Peter Hudson and Jason Dunstall booted the ton 11 times between them. Tonight, another man, Lance Buddy Franklin, can join the list. At Carlton, Harry Soapy Valance racked up the goals in the 1930s, but the Blues have only one centurion, the great Alex Jezelenko in 1970. Can Brendan Favola join him tonight? Welcome to the shootout at the Dome. The moment has arrived from 35 metres out. He's got it. You've got it. It's all about tradition and history. About the game's money men. their special moment in the spotlight. They're the ones we go to watch. And this is their moment the fans love to share. And tonight, Buddy is the man. Only two to go. A precocious snap, perhaps. Or a majestic set shot from the impossible angle. Either way, barring the most extraordinary turn of events, there's going to be a stadium full of buddy love at some stage tonight. And who knows, it might be the most incredible double act of all time. For up the other end, another shy, retiring type has grand plans of his own. Something special. It is a full house at the dome. You can hardly hear yourself as out come the Hawks, second on the ladder. They had bigger fish to fry in September, but tonight the focus is firmly on, if you already didn't know, Lance Franklin. The Blues, they can't make the finals, but they will celebrate a rare achievement if Brendan Pavola can kick eight goals. As I say, hello and welcome to the Dome. It's round 22, Carlton versus Hawthorne. Now, you would have said this a lot of times in your life, Rob. There's no I in team, but we can indulge ourselves tonight, can't we? Well, it'll be interesting to see what Chris does, does quarters. If the captain starts to put a few passes towards Brendan Favola, I reckon the others will follow suit. So we'll wait and see on that one. Well, tonight, welcome to Buddy Watch. We're going to have the... The score ticking over, his goal tally ticking over. The big question is, who's going to get the job on him? I guess there's a couple of men that could take him tonight, Rob, for Carl. I think Jared Wade will get the job. Jared Wade's been uh, playing as a key defender all year for the Blues. He's been in really good form. He's tall, he's athletic. I hope he plays a little bit in front of him. And then, of course, there's Brett Thornton. Thornton's the veteran at that back line. He's been around a long time, had some tough jobs. So they've got a couple of tall, athletic players who I think can play on Buddy. And, yes, we've got Fevwatch too. That'll hopefully for Carlton fans be ticking over as the night progresses. He needs eight for his hundred. Will it be Gillum or will it be Crowe? A big test for both those guys. It is. Look, Stephen Gillum's been given the job uh, all year on the full forwards. Trent Crowe, of course, over 200 games experience. I think they'll start with young Gillum. If it doesn't work out, Trent Crowe will get the job and they'll move him pretty quickly. One late change for the Hawks. Stokes is out and as we suspected, Ellis comes in. Yes, and that's a pretty settled back line. You've got Crowe, Gillum, Guerra's having a very good season. Murphy, Ellis, Brown swings between the back line and forward and of course the two big fellas up forward in Franklin and Ruffhead Campbell will do the bulk of the ruck work tonight Bad news for the Blues, they've lost 70 possessions tonight because Scotland and Carrazzo are late withdrawals, Austin and Fife are come in I just saw Heath Scotland on crutches so he's in not good shape at all Have a look at that Carlton midfield Stevens, Gibbs and Simpson and then you go to Murphy and Judd they are building a very very strong midfield unit Favola, of course, needs more support up forward. Fisher and Betts this year have been his main support. Brett Ratton done a wonderful job at Carlton this year with 10 wins. It's like a finals atmosphere tonight. They're absolutely going nuts already over at Hawthorne. Alistair Clarkson, he's all about September. The Hawks are second favourites for the flag. So much to look forward to tonight. For the first time in football history, two players may reach 100 goals in the same match. We are ready to go at the Dome.
great to see it happen. I think, um, you know, he's kicked eight goals before this year, so I, mean, I dare say a few of us have the blinkers on going into the inside the forward 50, but um, oh, look, the main thing for us is still, you know, we perform strongly as a group and uh, it's people to kick eight and that'll be the icing on the cake. Twice this year, Brendan Favola has kicked eight goals and he's done it in the past, but uh, can he do it tonight? It's a great prelude to the finals, isn't it? The day there's Alex Favola, his wife watching on. It's going to be a big night for the families of both Lance Franklin and also Brendan Favola. Look, Darcy's also with us in commentary tonight. Das, great to be here, isn't it? Oh, it's just got a great atmosphere, Anthony. It's an electric feeling walking into the ground tonight. We can see the man on screen, Big Buddy. Uh, we're here to watch him kick his 100 goals, and I love what Chris Judd said. I've, I've got no issue at all with the blinkers on. Carlton can't obviously improve their spot on the ladder. It's all about, I reckon, getting the man, uh, the ball in the hands of Brendan for bowler. I reckon he's a chance tonight. Well, what a night it is for our boundary riders. They are ready to go. They've got perhaps the biggest job of the night. Can they claim the man that kicks 100? So we've got not just Christy Malthouse, but also Mark Howard with us. Good evening. Good evening, Anthony. I tell you what, this crowd is very, very excited. I arrived here just after four o'clock this afternoon and there were cars and people lining up for miles. So they've been wanting to get in early and it is absolutely packed. And I reckon there's more Hawthorne supporters here than there are Carlton supporters, but they're very, very excited. I'm going to sit a fair way away from the fence, I reckon, and, and maybe run for cover when Buddy's going for that second goal. But they've got some pretty tight security, though, now. Well, security is the big issue tonight, Christy. The boys themselves, they've got footy boots on the security guards. If the boys bring up their 100 goals, they'll be whisked straight off the ground. All the other players will be corralled in the middle of the ground, surrounded by security. And, Christy, I will look after you as far as security goes this evening. Elbow them out of the way, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. Thank you, Christy, and uh, Howie down there. All right, boys, what about the match itself? It's almost a bit of a sideshow. I think the Blues believe they can they can cause a bit of an upset. We've seen some strange goings on in round 22. We're going to get the matchups for both Franklin and Favola in just a moment. Well, you're right there, Hutto. Uh, it's a strange round, isn't it, round 22? But Carlton, very good last week against Brisbane, came back against the Ox and got the win. And the Hawks have been pretty strong and consistent all year. Gee, Bauer has gone to Franklin. Paul Bauer to Franklin. That's a massive surprise. Bauer's only played 20-odd games for Carlton and only half the games this year, so that is interesting. Look, he's tall, he's quick, and Crowd, the veteran, has gone to Favola. So, big night ahead of the dome. Round 22. Can Carlton finish its season on a high? All the Hawks notch. Their 17th win of the season, and why not Chris Judd, first touch of the night. What a season he's had for Carlton, first year in the Navy Blue. Osborne caught a little bit high.